The first step in constructing any photo sketch model is to create a new project. Click on the New Project icon and enter Park Avenue in the dialog window. A file browser now appears. Navigate to the Example folder under the Photo Sketch plugin in SketchUp. Select any of the five scene photos in the set and press Open. The system will then read all of the JPEG files in that folder. Since we pre-calibrated the camera, the intrinsic parameters will be loaded and displayed. Press OK to preview the thumbnails of the input images. Now you are ready to perform camera pose recovery directly from these images. This will solve for the position and orientation of the camera associated with each input image. This means that with respect to the model, we will now be able to stand in SketchUp in the same position and hold the camera in the same orientation as a photographer did when each of those pictures were taken. Click on the camera icon to begin camera pose recovery. The user is prompted to choose either the automatic or manual feature tracking mode for camera pose recovery. By clicking yes, we proceed with a three-step automatic camera pose recovery process. The first step in this process will be feature extraction. Finding the most salient features across all of the input images is among the most time-consuming processes within PhotoSketch. The status bar at the bottom of the window displays the progress of the feature extraction stage. Be patient. This may take a few minutes. Once the stage is complete, a pop-up window will appear to prompt the user to continue to the matching stage. If you do not choose to continue, the system will be able to save the results thus far so that you may continue from this point in another session. The same preview window we had seen earlier is now updated to display the number of features extracted from each photo. By clicking Yes, we proceed to the feature matching stage. The extracted features are then matched from image to image. This is also a time-consuming process within PhotoSketch. The status bar at the bottom of the window displays the progress of the feature matching stage. Be patient. This may take a few minutes. Once the stage is complete, a pop-up window will appear to prompt the user to continue to the pose recovery and floor alignment stage. If you do not choose to continue, the system will be able to save the results thus far so that you may continue from this point in another session. The same preview window we had seen earlier is now updated to display the number of matched features between consecutive photos. By clicking Yes, the system computes the position and orientation of each camera. Once camera pose recovery is complete, the user is prompted to select between two floor alignment methods the vertical line correspondence method, and the point-based correspondence method. Click No to initiate the floor alignment module that operates by establishing corresponding points on the floor plane. The first photo from the path is now displayed, requiring you to track at least three points from photos in the path. Be sure to select points that have the same heights and all lie on a plane. To start a new track, press K on the keyboard. The shape of the cursor changes from an arrow to a cross. Move the cursor near the feature and click the left mouse button. A magnifying window pops up. While the left mouse button is held down, the user can slide the magnified image to accurately pinpoint the feature. Once the mouse button is released, the central point under the crosshair will be selected. This permits you to accurately pinpoint the interest points, such as corners. After releasing the left mouse button, the tool switches to the next photo in the path. The added feature is drawn with a red plus sign. The user needs to pick the same feature point in this new photo as accurately as possible. In order to help the user recall the previous selected feature, a moving window appears next to the cursor showing the image of the feature neighborhood from the previous photo. After tracking the corner in all photos, the user is required to stop and close this track by pressing K on the keyboard. This process is repeated two more times for the two corners that remain.
After three corner points are tracked, click the right mouse button and select Done. This places you in the position of the photographer that took the picture. Notice that the aligned floor plane is now visible. By zooming out using the standard SketchUp navigation tools, we can examine the results of camera pose recovery. Notice the positions and orientations of the set of cameras that were used to acquire the input photos. Each camera is depicted using a frustum. Camera pose recovery occurs simultaneously with the recovery of a sparse 3D point cloud as shown here. Each 3D point in the cloud corresponds to an extracted image feature that was matched among multiple views.